Hello, I am an Amiga user. I love almost everything about the Amiga. But if I could change anything, then it would be the disk drive. And these are really annoying because they can go bad and then it's hard to find replacements for those. And for a couple of years now, um, you can find these cheap GoTech drives on the web. And uh, you can store images of uh, floppy disks on a USB stick and these drives will read them and transfer them to your computer. And someone in France, some smart guy, he figured out a way to make these available for the Amiga. So you can store ADF files and uh, use this disk drive like a normal Amiga drive. And in this video, I will just follow the instructions from his website, from his blog, and uh, to get this running on my Amiga system here. So we got the GoTech drive over here and the USB TTL adapter is right here. It comes with a cable <clears throat> so um, together it costs about $36 on eBay. Next up is um, our task is to connect the adapter to the GoTech drive. So you see that I have set the cables red to 5 volt, yellow to TXD, green to RXD, and black to ground. So if you can see from the block entry here, you can see that. Um, where those cables are supposed to go. So you can see that on the GoTech drive, which is here, there's a holes and um, the cables that I have here, they uh, have holes too. So what you need to do is um, create a connection and uh, with some kind of like little stick type of uh, metal piece and I created those here as you can see um, using paper clips so um, as you can see you need to stick the RX and the TX um, cables here in those holes here and um, also you need to create a kind of a jumper uh, between the boot 0 and 3.3 .3 volt that's what uh, this little thing here on the left is for. That's my jumper. So let's take a look at how it looks like when it's all wired up. As you can see, I've connected the power lines 5 volt and the ground to the respective pins on the GoTech drive. So, and the yellow cable from the adapter which is TXD goes into the RXD input on the GoTech drive and the green cable on, um, on the adapter which is the RXD goes to the TXD uh, input on the GoTech drive. When I tried it the first time I actually uh, did it the other way around which um, was wrong and it didn't a flash at all. So I just wanted to point out that you don't um, confuse these two, which I did. As you can see here, I successfully downloaded both the flash tool and the latest um, firmware. So I'm gonna hit next and see what happens. See you in a bit after it's done. So for the test of our GoTech drive, I'm preparing this USB stick and uh, for this test we are simply going to try to boot into Workbench. As you can see, this is the content of the stick. So I've copied uh, the Workbench and the extras, which I have uh, from my Cloanto Amiga Forever CD and also the selector.adf file which I got from the distribution of the firmware uh, of the Cortex uh, Mega Floppy emulator 
and I put them all just directly into the root of the USB stick. Let's see um, how that works. Okay, we are ready to give this baby a test run of the real Amiga. So I've disconnected the cable and made sure that jumper that was um, there to uh, enable the flashing of the firmware is taken out and as you can see there's a little jumper here that uh, was set to S1 and you might want to send it to S0 this is a drive selector and it will um, in your Amiga it will then set the drive to DF0 which you want to do okay guys um, we are ready to do a test run I've connected the GoTech floppy to the Amiga as you see open everything and I'll just power it on <coughs> and it comes up slot 000 000, 000 is the selector program and if you can see here it comes up with this uh, boot screen it initializes the floppy initializes the menu you can see the ADF files in here and um, to use the slots to assign the slots you can kind of uh, set uh, pick here uh, re do return and uh, for example you see that I have selected um, workbench and extras into these slots and uh, once you're done with that, you just simply hit save and restart and it will automatically um, restart and um, as you can see it also automatically switches to slot 001 which we have assigned to Workbench 1.3 so as you can see it takes longer and it's not particularly fast it's about the same as a normal disk drive as you can see so uh, but it works as you can see this this is already nice I'm missing a little bit of course um, track sounds and uh, you can as you can see the LED is kind of blinking here on the drive and not on the uh, your usual LED that you would uh, typically expect but that's I can live with that for now. So, as you can see, it's coming up slowly. There you go. There is the workbench. And we can kind of open the file here, the disk here. It comes up with the typical things. And in order to open the um, extras file, uh, disk, to mount it, can kind of here as yes, you can see switch to slot 2 and the workbench will then see there you go here's the extras disk and all the contents that you are used to so that's how it works